What's going on gamers? Today we are going to go over how to upload server worlds in single player. Whether you're looking to move from multiplayer to a single player world, or if you're just trying to share your world with others, you'll have to know how to save and upload it. This can get confusing, especially when you have to do things like merge files together. So let's try to go over how you can get started. The process for this task depends on the type of Minecraft server you host. For example, vanilla worlds are going to be straightforward, while modified ones are going to involve a few more steps. Starting off with the first step, you'll need to download the world off of your Minecraft server. This is done by using an FTP client such as FileZilla, which hooks into your files. Once you're connected, you'll be able to directly download any world onto your computer. That being said, smaller worlds can be done directly through the FTP panel, though it may be easier to stick to an FTP client no matter the size. Due to some server types having multiple world folders, it's important to understand their format. We've created a list of the popular ones here so you can quickly learn more about them. This is going to come in handy when downloading and uploading maps to single player since you might need to merge some files, but we'll discuss this a little later on. Once you've downloaded the world files from Java or Bedrock, then you're ready to begin transferring it into single player. For Java single folder worlds, find and keep your server's world folder somewhere you can get to it, and then open the Minecraft launcher and click installations at the top. On any profile, click the folder icon to the right hand side to reveal the local game files. And in the new window, find the saves directory. Enter this area and then drag and drop your previously downloaded world folder here. Afterwards, you can load up the game and confirm this worked by checking the worlds menu. Now, this process is going to be for modded or plugin servers that have three separate world folders. Head to the three world folders you previously downloaded from the server and then enter into the world nether and world the end directories and locate the DIM folders. Move both of these folders into the main world folder. And then after this, you can delete the nether and the end folders. Open the Minecraft launcher and click on any profiles folder in installations. And in the new window, find and enter the saves directory like before. From here, you can drag and drop the already prepared world folder into this area and then head into the worlds menu from Minecraft to check if it worked. Now, similar to Java, the Bedrock edition of Minecraft is a simple process for you to transfer server worlds to single player. This is due to a single folder format, meaning all you need to do is transfer it into the local game files. Find your previously downloaded server file and keep this somewhere easily accessible. And then you're going to want to head to this directory, starting with users, your username, app data, local, packages, microsoft.minecraft, uwp, local state, games, com.mojang, and finally, Minecraft worlds. Once you're here, you can drag and drop the server world into this area. After that, just open up Minecraft and head towards the worlds menu. And if it's successful, you should see your bedrock server world in the list for you to play. Once you load into the world, regardless of whether it's for Bedrock or Java, all of your progress should be kept. This includes all items in your inventory, experience points, structures, and everything else. Besides this, these uploaded server worlds can always be transferred back through the panel if you want to. All progress should be kept too, meaning anything you do in single player will also carry over if you choose to transfer it back. Now, before we get into the common issues, don't forget to like, Subscribe and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. If you can't find the maps folder in the FTP area, check the world section of the main panel to learn the name. Also keep in mind that Bedrock servers have these maps stored in the worlds folder. If you're completely unable to find this in the server panel, then you can always reach out to our support team to see if they can help you. If your world isn't showing in game, the main reason is failing to upload the folder into the correct local directory. Remember, Java editions of Minecraft store them in the saves area in the game files, but for Bedrock, this is contained in the Minecraft worlds location. You also need to check that the version of the world you are uploading matches the version of the Minecraft game you're using. Other times, the world might lose progress after you successfully complete the upload process. 
This happens when an issue arises from the downloading steps. For example, some worlds might have too many regions or player data files to correctly transfer. Solving this tends to involve you zipping the files before you get them. This can be done by checkmarking the world folders and clicking zip at the top of your FTP panel. Once you've done this, try to download it and redo the upload steps to see if that helps. Being able to upload a world is an important thing to know how to do, whether you want saves of your world in your game or whether you're just trying to share it with friends. And as long as you find the world files, you'll have the world uploaded in no time. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.